So, excuse the mess on the workbench table. Uh, here we go. We have some more samples of graphene being reduced. And this one actually is very interesting because it has come out to be like a plastic itself. It's very, very, very neat. Sorry for the god-awful cinematography. But, here's another one. This was actually a neat, much thinner film. And then, of course, my little mess over here and of course the whole table is a mess too more graphene oxide you know we this is actually an alcohol dispersion uh, and that's what leads to this little gem and then of course the holy grail of the white with the with the wonderful brown sludge on the bottom um, is what it is wow what a busy little table I, I fixed guitar amplifiers on the side too so whatever the current update is that uh, a research team in Australia, a bunch of uh, grad students, found out that if you take an imidazolium ionic liquid, which is basically an electrolyte of some sort, and mix it in with reduced graphene oxide, this is not actually quite reduced or anything like that, but it is the graphene oxide, if you reduce it first, and then make a liquid like this, add the metazoleum, mix it all up, and then let it dry, much like you know paint or anything like that, it will produce a multi-layered integrated electrode. And in other words, all you do is you print out this electrode, put a separator, put another electrode on it, and that's it. That is all you have to do. It, there's no substrate needed, nothing. It, it just comes together just like that. Uh, it becomes quicker process manufactured wise. But then the other thing is really, really, really interesting is the fact that it has this amazing uh, storage capacity uh, per liter volumetric uh, system it produces the same electrical charge capacitance as lead acid batteries. And if you know anything about electric cars, you get 10 lead, a lead acid batteries together uh, and you have a car that runs. You know, you, you have a functioning electric car. It just takes forever to, to charge up. So in this case, uh, 10 of those is a lot smaller than say the Tesla Roadsters battery pack, the 900 pound battery pack. It's just they don't charge as quick and you're not going to get as much distance. Not because the lead acid's worse than lithium ion, but just because of the fact that you know, you're know you using less volume, you're using less space. But if you do the same space, then we're, we're talking about comparative uh, models. But the weight is once again one of these graphene capacitor weights. So it weighs next to nothing and has a huge amount of charge. A huge amount of charge. It's, it's really, really promising and that is actually what I'm working on. But what I was working on, this actually is a photo etching reaction. Uh, I used a super high powered um, flash like what you would use kind of for a camera, uh, except it's way, way bigger and way more ridiculous. And it instantly makes this graphene oxide uh, reduced into graphene. Instantly. Literally, it takes a second. So you can paint it on there, flash it, and it's done. There's no uh, sitting a while or waiting for the laser to etch it or anything like that. It's, it's pretty, pretty uh, neat and promising. And also... The only thing was is that uh, it, I hadn't guessed that I was going to mess it up, so that's why it looks all messed up. Like in certain areas like here and right here, uh, those areas right there um, are uh, good. I didn't touch them and I didn't ruin them, and then the other areas are kind of messed up. But, you know, it is what it is. You can you can do it. We can, we can upgrade it to an industrial scale anytime. If, if it was needed. But the, the basic update for the uh, imidazolium liquids, I can barely say that word, <laughs> is that uh, 
that is the most promising thing so far that I've seen. And I'm testing it out and working on it right now, and I'm getting my hands on a minozolium uh, and, and trying to find substitutes. I asked Robert if, if he knew of one, and he had, he had a couple suggestions. So that's a very big thank you to Robert, and I recommend you subscribe to him too, uh, Robert Murray Smith, because he's awesome. And as well as the rest of you guys in the community that are trying to work on things, there you go. That is actually a really good photon reaction, uh, like photo reduction, uh, and how, how quick it can go and how promising it can really be. Thank you.